Hello there. Today, we're going to make a pinwheel card, but a little bit different. I pulled out one of my scrap tape borders that I made with masking tape. And as you can see, I've cut out <laughs> four one inch squares. So, cause I want to do a black and white with a pop of red. I think that'll be fun. <coughs> Whoops, sorry. Didn't mean to bang the, the camera there. Alrighty, where'd my elastic go right there? All right, and I pulled out my skinny one so I can put a row on the inside of the card too, although I could use that. <laughs> All right, so what you need for this is you need two squares that are two and a quarter by two and a quarter, and we're gonna do this. We're gonna glue them together this way. And then we need four, these are all one inch squares, so four of one color and four of another color. So these are my scrap tape border ones, and these are just, it's just packaging that came from um, the embossing folders. I have a whole stack of these that that I'm trying to work my way through. So, so that's what we're gonna do today. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and glue this together. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue right in the middle there. And then we'll try to line that up and then try to line this up. Ooh, that looks pretty good to me. All right, looks good. Okay, so there, we've got that together. Now all we have to do is just glue these ones down. And I think I'm gonna use my double-sided tape for this because that'll hold it better and I don't want them falling off. And now I'm gonna knock down all of my <laughs> little pill bottles that are full of little things. I guess I need another skinny little shelf here. All right, because I've got things like this all lined up or not use those drawers there. That's probably a better idea. All right, so let's turn these all over and I'm gonna put a little bit of, little piece of tape right in the center of each one. So just enough to hold it down. You don't need a lot, just enough to hold it in place until you get done and then you can glue it together a little bit better if need be. There's usually not too much that you really need to. Okay, so you just have to choose a color. Which one do you want to start with? The solid or the stripe? I think I'm going to go ahead and start with the, the scrap tape border. And I'm going to pull that release tape off. And I'm just going to line this up with this. I like the way that edge looks. The corner. There, that's better. And line that up and leave a little bit of a border so you can see the red around it. That'll be pretty. So you go two color and then solid. And the solid's gonna go right in this one, right on top of the other. And then we're gonna do this one. And I have to decide, do I want all of them to go sideways? Do I want all of these to go the same way? Or do I wanna make them go this way? I'm gonna do them the same way. Why not? Let's do that. We'll see how that looks. All right, and then we need a solid. And then we need a tape one. So make it go the same direction. And then we need a solid. I haven't done one of these cards in a while, but I thought it would be fun to, to do it with the scrap tape borders because that's another way to use these scrap tape borders up. Because I don't know about you, but I've got a whole bunch of these. I've got a whole shoebox full of rolls because I love making these. They're just so much fun and it's an awesome way to use up scraps. All right, and remember this one is a little bit tricky because you gotta lay it on top, but tuck it underneath the very first one that you did. So we've gotta go like this and then line it up with this this corner so i need to lift that up a little bit where the tape is and put this in there like so and then press it down and check it out that looks cool okay so now i'm going to turn it over and i'm going to give it a little back rub with a phone folder let's make sure that's going to stay on there really good all right and i think that's set on there pretty good even though it was just little tiny pieces of 
tape, but that stuff is pretty sturdy. That's pretty. I do like that. All right, so now let's trim this. I think I do want to use this because why waste it? You know what I mean? Waste not, want not. Besides, it's already cut into a strip. So I may as well use that on the inside of a card. There we go. Ta-da! That's awesome. All right, so this can go on here. This can go either on the card front itself or on the inside. What do I want to do? Or do I want to put another row? That would be neat to put a row right here. Put this on, but then do red on either side. That would be sharp. Ooh, I think I like that idea. That would be pretty. Let's do that. All right, let me, this is just construction paper too. Because I always need some layering paper, but I didn't want to spend the money <clears throat> on, um, I don't like spending the money on regular cardstock if it's just going to be a layer behind other stuff. So, and construction paper is a lot less money. So I'm going to cut this with my, let's do it with my decals, why not? Right down the middle. That'll make it look kind of lacy. My favorite scissors are my decals. I love them. All right, so now I can put that on. That's going to be really pretty. Let's go ahead and do that. Oops. I'm starting on the wrong side. All right, let's do this. All right. There. That's perfect. And then I need this on. That is going to be really sharp. Oh, yeah. And then I just need this on this side. That's going to be so pretty. Okay, so this needs to be cut about five inches. Let's see. Five to ten. Right there will work. All right. And then I'm going to put this on here. That's not cut very even. Let's trim this up. It's got all these little tips on from when I created the tape itself. Yep. There. Okay. So now I just need to glue this on. And let's put this along here. there and we want it to be about like that let me turn it over and check and see how much is hanging off because I want it to hang off about like that much yeah like that all right then we can trim this piece off nice okay so then we can go ahead and we can glue this down and then trim off the side. That's awesome. All right, so let's get some glue on here. These are my school colors for Fitch. Fitch Senior High, red and black. Woohoo! The Fitch Falcons. Alrighty, that's nice. And I'm still using this Halloween paper. This black paper is actually Halloween background paper. <clears throat> and when I first started my Facebook group, then somebody sent me a whole box of, a whole collection of Halloween papers because they don't use them. And I thought, I'll use them as backgrounds like this, why not? Here, I'll bring it up and show you. There's like spooky words and boo and bones. You can see a little bone there. <laughs> Scream. But you don't really notice it when it's all cut apart like that. And if I didn't, if I hadn't have told you, that looks pretty together. What do you think? Isn't that nice? Alrighty. So let's go ahead and glue this down. Yeah. 
and I have to make the decision. Do I want it to be pointy like that, or do I want it to do it this way? Let's do it pointy this way. Let's do it like that. Why not? Two points up and two points down. That's a good idea. Let's turn it over and give it a little back rub. And the reason why I do the back rub, somebody was asking me, is because when you glue it down, you want to make sure that it adheres to the paper while it's drying. So the more you rub it together like this, the more the more better chance that you're going to have that it's going to stay put together. Another thing I like to do is I'll sit on them. So I'll turn it over this way and just put it under one one thigh and just sit on them sometimes just to make sure that they're going to stay because especially with the, the shiny paper, the, the glossy papers, because sometimes they kind of slide around a little bit and you want to make sure they're glued down. That is pretty. I like the way that looks. Look at that. That's cute. All right, we've got this piece we can put on the inside. So let's go ahead and do that. We have another piece of red. Ooh, let's go ahead and use it. Why not? That's a great idea. May as well. I like using up the scraps. Then they don't have to go in the scrap box. Leave a little bit of that white showing, just so I can make sure it's nice and straight. Give that a little rub. And then we've got this piece. That'll be pretty, or we can do it. I think I want it right there. Let's do that. All righty. Okay, and, and when I picked it up, I picked it up using my tweezers right in the middle of the item. So that way I know when I lay it down to lay it right in the middle of this using my my picker uppers here and then I know it's it's on there pretty darn straight so that's a neat little tip for you all right it's funny how we all figure out little easier ways to do things that's really pretty I like the way that came out nice okay let's give this a nice good little back rub so that stays down all righty and I'm thinking I could punch out a little couple flowers. Hmm. Do I want to put a couple flowers on the inside? I don't know. We'll see. But I think I do want to put this, one of these ladybugs. That'll be fun. I can keep pulling these out and play with them. And I think that'll be really pretty. <laughs> that one right there, right in the dead center. That'll be cute. And let's put a little glue on here just to make sure it stays on. Alrighty, and we'll put that right down. Ta-da! That is so cute. Oh, I like that. Let me sneak a little glue under here. There. Excess glue, okay. That looks pretty. What do you think of that? Isn't that fun? And then I'm thinking maybe, maybe a little row of the little tiny butter, or butterflies. Um, ladybugs, that would be really cute. Or we could put word. Let's see, let's do that. Let's do a word. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, let's see what do we have. We have have a great day. Good day. Good day. Good day. Good day. We could do good day. Okay, let's do that. That's fun. Alrighty, let me trim this down a little. Catherine Russell, that's who sent this, the Halloween paper to me. She was one of my very first, first members. And if you're in Australia, we do have an Aussie group, an Aussie sister group off of the, use those scrap papers, Facebook group. So if you're interested, let me know. And it's just because that way they can share what, what type of things they buy in their area because they don't have Dollar Tree in the same stores that we have. They have different ones. So sounds like they have some really cool ones, but they're different than ours. That would be cute. I could do that. 
let's do that. And then I can trim off the excess. Or do I want to leave it like that? That's kind of cute. You know what? I think I'm going to leave it. Put it on that way. Yeah, let's do that. And I think I want to 3D this. So let's do that. Let's take one of these and take a purple scissors and cut this in half. There. And there. All righty. That's pretty. <laughs> I like it. All right, now we need some little ladybugs. Maybe a couple on the inside. That might be fun. Do I want one on here? I'm not sure. Let's see. Here in Connecticut, we get lots and lots and lots of ladybugs, and they're always, it's always fun to, to find them. That is really cute. Let's put it right there. <laughs> That's cute. Aw, I like that. All right, now let's put a couple in here. Let's see. The little, little ones. Maybe a grouping of three up here. That'll be cute. One, two, and... Oh, this one's real little. <laughs> three. That is adorable. I like that. All right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. That didn't sound very pretty at all. I apologize for that. Maybe I should take another sip of my water. that came out cute so what do you think of that for an idea a pinwheel using our scrap tape borders I love it okay let me bring it up close so you can see I love that little guy <laughs> so there you go so I hope you like this idea and you'll pull out your scrap tape borders. If you haven't seen that video, I will attach it for you so that way you can watch it. It is really interesting and it's so easy to make. And until we meet again, happy crafting. Bye-bye.